19 Nocturne Boulevard. Nocturne Boulevard? Not far. When you hit Howard, hang a right. Howard meets Philip at a weird kind of angle. Then you cross James and Paul. You can't miss Nocturne. It's just past the automatic. 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Your address for suspenseful stories of the speculative, strange, and supernatural. Tonight's story is Caveat Emptor. Yes, this is 19 Nocturne Boulevard. Won't you step inside? Did you have any trouble finding it? What do you mean, what kind of a place is it? Why, it's a contemporary family home. Can't you tell? Set the alarm. Cassie, where's the laptop? Shit, we've been robbed. Where's the phone? I gotta call police. Who the hell? This is not a good time. <laughs> it's the only time you got, pal. I just got robbed. No, you just got dumped. Read the note on the fridge. What? Are, are you a friend of Cassie's? Do you know where she went? Not my area. I just dropped by to give you a bit of a heads up. Uh, what? I know you're feeling pretty low. Wife walked out, took the kid, and you don't know why. We have a good life. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with you moping around the house all day. I got laid off. Leaving all the housework for the little woman so that when she gets home from her full day... I have to spend my time looking for work. Oh, a lot of work in the world of Warcraft is there. Or are you considering a career in porn? None of your business. Besides, they're the only things that make me less depressed. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all. So today is your lucky day. Kinda. Kinda? Yeah. It's $200. That's like three tanks of gas. I hate this work. One hour plus drive time. Just think of it as gathering intel. I'll think of it as wine tasting. Have fun. You called? Oh, yeah. This guy, he gave me your card. And? And? I didn't come all this way to stand on your porch unpaid. Confirmed. Oh, uh, come in. Hmm. Yeah, um, it's kind of a mess. You want a beer or something? 57 minutes. What? Of your hour. We confirmed your PayPal transaction. Oh, right. My wife... She left me. When? Oh, just this morning. Hmm. She's not much of a housekeeper. I can smell that. That doesn't mean I don't want her back. <sighs> just a sec. Take your time. Cut the poor guy some slack. How dare you? How dare I what? Bring a hooker into your house while your wife's away. <laughs> not funny. She's not... I know just what kind of woman has the bleach blonde hair and the motorcycle. I told you Black Lily was wrong for the neighborhood. This is tough. But, Cassie... That poor woman gave you two beautiful children. So any weight she's gained, well, that's just as much your fault, isn't it? I'm gonna turn you off. Mm -hmm. But, Mrs. Klosky... You're just like my son-of-a-bitch husband. And I just wish I had someone like me to speak up on my behalf back when he... <sighs> Yeah. 
Sum up quick. I'm already bored. My wife left me this morning. I want to find out where she went. Did you call her parents? Her mother won't answer. Did you call her friends? They're all on her side. Did you check her email? I didn't think of that. What have you done? I called you. You understand that first two hundred dollars is only for this hour, the one we're currently wasting. Not for the entire job. Not unless I find her in the next forty-three minutes. Do you think you can? What's her email address? Hmm. Makes me want to run out and find one of my own. <laughs> uh, hello. Not in a million years. I was just looking for a. Ah,、uh, there it is. There's the address. Must be a friend of his. You. Oh hell. You woman. Uh oh. <sighs> What? How much do you charge? Tell her you don't do lemon parties. I don't. <laughs> I am a bounty hunter. Oh, well, that's a disappointment. That I'm not a prostitute. I have a, a nephew, unmarried. He could use a little、mm, cheering up, and his birthday's coming. We are a bit short on cash. Ah,、uh, I have to go now. <laughs> So, how was the nephew? Funny. There wasn't any. No.、Oh, What? Who pops up out of nowhere on a regular basis? Hiya, doll. Dolls. You okay with having him in? Yeah, I, I guess. Make a guy feel wanted, why don't you? We forgot to vacuum. We're antisocial. And here I thought it was just me. You forgot to vacuum too. Get over here where I can see you. Matilda, Bud, you do look like Steve Buscemi. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. You don't got no more places to sit. One butt, one chair. Part of the recluse mystique. There's a stool around here somewhere. Yeah, I can stand. Don't plan to be here that long. See, I got a problem. Another one? We get two hundred dollars for the first hour. Here. You know. I never would have mistaken you for a prostitute. Good to know. Dominatrix, maybe. It's motorcycle gear, not some kind of leather teddy and thigh-high boots with stiletto heels. Not helping.、And、those things will break your ankles. <sighs> Clock starts now. What's your problem? You girls are a hoot. You should take it on the road. No thanks. Tick tock. Fine. Eh. <sighs> You think the life of a demon like me would be a piece of cake? From what you said, you seem to have it all down to a system. Yeah, well, any well-oiled machine can go if you stick in the wrong cog. What have you been sticking in your cogs? Ha ha ha! It's infernique. Sounds like a perfume. The demon chick you fixed me up with. Nuh uh, no fixing. Just tricked her into giving in and going out with you once. Whatever happened after, not our fault. Well, maybe a little. She's convinced she's got to class me up. Class, you. You don't need to make it sound like such a joke, babe. I wondered about the suit. Seems uh, awfully tasteful. Restrained. I mean, the descriptions. You have such a flair. Help me out here. No. Yeah, yeah. So I like the classics. The shark skin still got its own kind of flash, but she's killing me with the pastels. You know, they come from the pit of despair. Pastels? Yeah, not a pretty story. Anyway, I'm not so good at saying no to her. She's been trying to get me to trade up.、Uh, better department, better class of victim. What will the comedians do without you? Yeah, that's what I say. But there's always someone willing to take most any place. But my place is one of those ain't no one gonna fight over. See? Nope. This guy Jesse. I gave him your card this morning. Ring a bell? The douche who didn't realize his wife was about to walk. Yeah, well, that's what Infernique wants me for my new clientele. The recently abandoned, the thoughtless husband, the douches, plenty of them. You can have them. Yeah, well, she's got me sneaking around behind the back of Willie. 
The guy whose job it is now, undermining his numbers, trying to make him look bad, getting the douches to not sign. All's fair in love and hell? I don't know. I ain't liking this. Talking people out of selling their souls. How abominable. Nah, it's the backstabbing. Willie's, well, not good people, maybe. But he ain't a bad guy. Kind of a plotter, no inspiration. But he's got a sweet birth, and he's... competent. You'll really miss the comedians, won't you? Yeah. Easy. Tell her you don't want to change. Why don't you just point me at a good doctor, man, eh? For when she rips me a new asshole. Guess you're screwed. Wait a minute. Look. The way I see it, you have two choices here. You can go ahead and be perfect, toe the line, do what she wants, and be with her until she finds someone more ambitious. Won't be hard. Shush. Oh, you'll find a way to slack off and subtly let her know that you aren't going to turn into a silk purse anytime soon and let her dump you. Talk to that guy from this morning. I'm sure he can give you a few pointers. The big question is, is she worth it? You know, you said a mouthful right there. I think some deep pondering is in order. Thanks. You still have a few minutes left. Ah, keep it. All us classy types tip. Mm. (coughs) Hello? Hello? Oh, shit. You're gonna want to jump. You don't know what you're doing. I'm the one with the gun and the remote. Whatever you got in your hand, drop it. Hold it right there. Got him. Hands behind your back. Really? Really. Fine. Sorry I took so long. Couldn't find the night vision goggles. Is this really necessary? You're the one who broke in. I'll get the light. Goggles off. I know. Ooh, he's smoking hot. Can we keep him? Let me explain. Not much chance of that. Matt, 911, okay? Now, where did I leave the phone? Where are you keeping the demon? <laughs> wow. Dramatic. Much? There's a doghouse out back. <laughs> this is no joke, lady. Harboring a demonic fugitive is very serious. Oh. A. Harboring? Not a chance. B. Fugitive? Beelzebub. Lower echelon Ramalpa class signatory demon. He stands accused of contractual misconduct. Let me guess. guess. That's bad. It's a termination class penalty. Oh, shit. Tell us more. No. Oh, come on. You hunt demons. Do you make a good living at that? (laughs) Guess that's a no. Uh, It's a calling, not a job. So you're a demon, too? Uh. I'm not telling you anything. You broke into our house. Convince us that we shouldn't call the real world police. I wasn't going to do anything to you. Just put this crystal somewhere. This thing? Yeah. It's a... uh, Might as well finish the sentence. How about strip guesses? What? If she guesses and she's wrong, you lose a piece of clothing. Are you insane? We don't get a lot of hot male visitors. And you woke us up in the middle of the damn night. Is it a tracking device? No. Camo coat? Uh, can't take it off over the handcuffs. Oh, bummer. Pants, then. It's a a simple listening device. Like a mystic bug, okay? Guess he wins. Sorry, Matt. Boom, 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 (laughs) boom. And good night. That could have been better. Open mic, read it, and weep. What do you want? I like what you did up there. I know who you are. You do? Yeah. I was warned there's a guy going around with bogus contracts. 
Screw off. I don't know nothing from bogus. I'm as legit as they come. You want me to call the cops? Jeez. Bogus contract. That's a two of Caligus Garrett. You kiss someone's mother with that mouth? You know, Latin doll. I know, cussing. <laughs> Matilda wanted me to warn you. Someone's on your tail. And he probably followed me here. Yikes. I thought I left you in handcuffs. Your sister took pity on me. All right, Ossifer. I'm not as stink as you drunk I am. Don't joke. You might step out of the way, ma'am. You need some help? Why? I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. I'm touched. Oddly. Nope. It ain't gonna be pleasant. But ain't nothing to be done about that. See you soon, doll. Well, I'll miss him. Yeah. Huh. Donuts? Who the hell? What? Are you doing anything at all? Who's that? Found her. Job's done. She's not back. Yeah. Sucks. She's still pissed off. Oh, him. What does he expect? That you'll ride in with his wife over your shoulder, kicking and screaming? I'm not dragging her home by her hair. What are you doing? I told her to email you a list of demands. Have you checked your email? I can't. Cut off my internet. Hold on. I'm transferring him to you, Matilda. I am not playing phone relay for. (laughs) Rita! (sighs) Don't freak out. Don't freak out. Maybe it's the cell tower. Maybe it's... Maybe it's demons! Oh, shit. Shit is right. Who the fuck are you? Where is my bud? What have you done with him? Bud? I don't know. We, we didn't do anything. Where's my sister? That's what I want to know. When I try to triangulate on her... I got nothing. Triangulate? Anyone who tries to deal with us has a sort of trace on them. Evermore. Until they pass beyond. Is she dead? No. If she isn't, then she's passed out of this realm. She never said she could do that. I'm just gonna faint now. I hope you don't mind. (gasps) What? Uh, Um, um, I can't... I I can't find a good place to fall down. She's on your headset? Yeah, she was. Just for a moment. Ah, there. Yes. She She must be in the outer (laughs) fringe. Guess we won't be seeing her again. (gasps) Babe! Babe? What? Babe? Oh, crap. Am I dead? Because having to listen to you forever is kind of like my vision of hell. Yeah, she's okay. Matilda? Back home where she belongs. Not hell, then. What's with the... (sighs) Shit. Yeah, that. I guess I kind of underestimated Willy Boy. Is that that demon hunter? Oh, him. Nah. That was all part of Willie's plan to get me off his case. Oh, the demon you were undermining. Bingo! I love a bright dame. And now he's got us both chained up in a dungeon. Great. Just what I was thinking. (laughs) Be very, very quiet. Wow, this is a swell party. You're only here because... Because I'm curious. What, What would make a mortal... Collaborate with such a filthy maggot as Beezlepuck. You make it sound a lot more fun than it is. Hey, hey, Willie, old boy. You will call me Will Lion. Don't think I don't know what you've been up to behind my back, Beezlepuck. Ah, a few short circuits, but it's all in fun. Plus, you got me back, but good. Sending a popper on me. Popper? The hunter. You know, you let him to me. 
Yeah, sorry about that. Surprised to see you still up and around, bud. It's not like he just up and decided he wanted your crappy job, Willie. I really prefer my own crappy job. You should have kept your hands off my beeswax then. Hey, hey. Can this guy actually do anything? To me, I mean? Uh, not, uh, legitimately. Then maybe you'll back the fuck out of my face, Elmer Fudd, and let me go. On the other hand, he's already more or less kidnapped you, so, uh, who knows what else he's willing to do. Shit. Yeah. Like anything a stupid mortal chick says is gonna piss Willie off more than I already have. Ha! Well, my... You're up to something, I think. Nah, just mouthing off. Keep him talking. So, Willie! Oh! You kidnapped a human. What's the next step? Custodial interference? Stealing candy from a baby? I... I'm not sure. I mean... I mean, I haven't decided yet what I'll to do with you. For now, yeah, for now, I'll let you stay. <sighs> nice try. Try? <laughs> yeah, whatever. If we had cards, I'd play a mean canasta. Takes two decks. Finally! Bees! Thought they'd never get here. You were expecting someone? Wait a minute, you were? Ah, oh boy, this could be a serious case of overkill. You ain't just whistling Dixie. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. You got something for chains? Uh, we might want to wait. Why? Yeah, that. Demon Hunter, you, Guy. Benedict. Right, like Shakespeare. I'm crap with names. Let me get those chains. Quick, what's the penalty for illegal imprisonment of a human? Where is he? It ain't much. He didn't hurt you or nothing. Well? Something like a hundred years of hemorrhoids. I don't actually sense Want to stick him with something worse? I like where this is going. I don't. Oh. What did you do with him? You are in my domain, succubus. Insults? How dare you? Oh! Out of my way! What the hell? Is that you? Baby snakes. But I didn't know the- Shane? Oh, babe. I'm so glad to see you. Really, they whipped my fanny, but good. I, yeah. I think the I, popper is concussed. I, 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 popper? Popper? You're gonna get us out of these, aren't you, sweetie? Wake up, dude. You chained a popper? I, uh, he, they... Just nod your head, handsome. I, uh, I... I'm hunting rabbits. He, Come on, babe. Leave Willie alone. Get me out of here. That's will I all, you little weasel. <laughs> I think it's about time to trade off. They, uh, There's nothing sexier than a tongue-tied demon. After all Bud has done for you. Willie will let you go when he's good and ready, won't you? He's a bud? Oh, he is. Fine. Keep your job. Take my woman. You have everything. <laughs> I honestly don't know which of you was worse back there. Emoting is not in my skill set. Tell me about it. You're back. Yeah, it's all okay. I thought... You know I always promised if I die, I'd come right back and haunt you. <laughs> Can yeah. we... Fuck off, will you guys? <gasps> I got this. I was... I was so... I'm here. You're not alone. <laughs> Maybe I should get that Benedict guy back. He, he owes us a pair of pants. Yeah. 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 Voicemail? Yeah. Speak. What did you do to my wife? All of a sudden, she's laying down the law and saying she won't put up with me unless I tow the line. Man, she's even talking about us writing up some kind of contract. Are you even listening? Now that you know how to find us, don't be a stranger. We have enough of those already. Tonight's episode, Caveat Emptor, 
was written by Julie Hoverson. In it, Beelzebub was played by Anthony D.P. Mann of the Horror Etc. podcast. Rena was Julie Hoverson. Matilda was Kate Waterus. Jesse was Big Anklevich of the Doonstief Audio Fiction Magazine. Will Lyle was Mark Olson. Mrs. Klosky was Florida Possum. Infernique was Julia Carter. Benedict the Popper was Renaud Leboeuf. The fat comedian was David Fontenot. And the manager of the comedy club was Scott Spaulding. Music for this episode is by Kevin McLeod of Incompetent.com. Cover art by Julie Hoverson. Also heard in the living room, a cameo from Super Haunted Stories at www.superhauntedstories.com. Sound and mastering was done by Julie Hoverson. Sound effects were found on soundsnap.com, onesoundfx.com, and sonomic.com. The opening theme was by Kevin McLeod at incompetech.com. The opening credits featured Cole Hornaday, Renaud LaBeouf, and Julie Hoverson. All persons, places, and events in this story were fictitious or used in a fictitious manner and are not meant to reflect any persons, places, or things, living, dead, or undead. Questions? Comments? We would love to hear from you. Contact us at 19nocturne at live.com, that's 19nocturne, or check out our website at www.19nocturneboulevard.com. This presentation is copyright 2011 to Julie Hoverson and Reality Productions and is released under a Creative Commons non-commercial license. Spread the show around, but don't try to make money off it. I know just what kind of woman has the bleached blonde hair in the motorcycle. Caveat, caveat, emptor. Generic stammer. <laughs> okay, don't get to do that. Then. Caveat emptor. Uh, I'm on Big Rabbit Pretty Lady. Uh, caveat emptor. Whoosh, boom. This is his hysterical heart. I'm not so good at saying no to her, and it's been trying to get me to trade up, but she's been. Oh, uh, throw it again. I, I'm such a stay at home, like, you know, innocent little girl. Jesse is a friend. He's always been a good friend of mine. Come on. Lately, something strange ain't hard to define. Jesse's got himself a girl, and I want to make her mine. He's watching with those eyes. Sing it, come on. And he's love with that body, I just know it. I'm not sure why I'm laughing at that, truthfully. I got this. Do you got this? I got this. Okay, we all got this. Julie, I hope you got this.